Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of communication engineering. Today's topic is compounding. In this video, I'll be talking about multiple choice questions based on compounding. You must have studied compounding. Compounding is basically a compounded PCM. So the multiple choice questions will be based on compressor characteristics, expander characteristics, compounder characteristics and the different types of compressor characteristics like mu law and a law. Let us begin. First question is compounding. It is the process of. You must have studied that compounding this process it consists of two things. First is compressing and expanding means it is the combination of compression and expansion answer is c correct one question number 2 which value of mu corresponds to linear amplification linear amplification or uniform quantization and the value of mu for linear amplification that is mu is equal to 0 it means the answer is a correct one Question number three: What is the standard value of mu in mu law? See, you have drawn the compressor characteristic for a mu law, where you have written the mathematical expression also. So the standard value is two fifty five. You must be able to pick the answer very quickly. Yes, this is the correct one. Question number four: The standard value of a in a law. See, in the case of a law compounding, compressor characteristic is a piecewise means made up of a linear segments for low level inputs and logarithmic segment for high level input. So, in case of a law, the standard value that is eighty seven point five six means answer is D. And a law compounding, this is commonly used for the PCM telephone system. So, you must remember it. Yes, D is the correct answer. Question number five: Compounding is used. Read out all the options which have been given very carefully. Compounding is used to overcome quantization noise, which occurs in the case of PCM. Second, in PCM transmitter to allow amplitude limiting in the receivers. Third, to protect small signals in PCM from quantizing distortion. and the fourth one in pcm receivers to overcome impulse noise see you have studied that the quantization noise that is given by what delta square upon 12 and delta is a step size which is fixed means quantization noise power remains constant but what happens the signal power is not almost a, always a constant means signal power will be small for a weak signals but quantization noise power will be a constant it means the quant signal to quantization noise for a weak signal this will be very poor and compounding this is used to overcome the quantization noise which occurs in the case of the pcm it means the correct answer is a question number 6 is the characteristics of compressor in mu law compounding are whether the characteristic is continuous in nature logarithmic in nature linear in nature and discrete in nature you must have drawn the characteristic curve for the mu law and there you have observed that the characteristic is continuous and that is approximately linear for the smaller values of input levels and logarithmic for higher le input levels but the whole curve is continuous it means the answer is a this is the correct one Question number seven: Compounding is a term derived from. So, compounding the term it is derived from two words that is compression and expansion. Means compounding that is equal to the compressing plus expanding. The answer is D. Correct one. Question number eight: Compressor provides. Read out all the options carefully. What is the function of the compressor? the function of compressor is to provide high gain to the weak signals and low gain to the small signals so answer is b this is the function of the compressor because it is used to 
boost up the smaller uh, means the signals which are having less strength and the signals which are having strong strength there is a requirement of only small gain means weak signals are artificially boosted to improve the signal to quantization noise ratio let us check yes b is the correct answer question number 9 is nature of compressor and expander is options have been given as inverse logarithmic exponential and square see the compressor and expander they are inverse in nature whatever the function is being performed by the compressor the reverse operation is being performed by the expander so the compression of signal is done at the transmitter side while expansion is done at the receiver side and the overall combination of compression and expansion that is known as a compounding it means they are inverse in nature answer is a question number 10 linear compressor characteristics is required for linear char uh, compressor characteristics is required for large amplitude or small or overall amplitude range or none of the above so linear compressor characteristics is required for the small amplitude while logarithmic is being required for the larger amplitude so it means here the answer is b small amplitude the correct one question number 11 overall characteristic of compressor looks like circle piece wise line ellipse or straight line overall compressor characteristic means if you draw the characteristic of comp compression and expansion means compander is what involve it involves the operation of compression and expansion means the overall characteristic looks like the straight line so answer is d question number 12 a log compounding it is used for tv satellite system pcm telephone system or all of the above so a log compounding this is commonly used for pcm telephone system in europe it means the answer is c if you are getting a question where mu law is used so mu law compounding is used for the speech and music signals so you must remember what is the function of which particular compounding law here c is the correct answer pcm telephone systems thank you so much for watching this video